Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris. My name is Jeff. And in this video, I will be analyzing the new map of the Alola region from the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon game. As you can see, it's mostly the same with some minor changes on every island. The biggest change that I noticed right away is the orange sea around the islands. And of course, the dark cloud or ultra wormhole portal thing above Pony Island and the regular blue sea around it. When the games are called Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and I only see a sun on the map, that makes me wonder, where is the moon? But when I look more into it, I see that the sun is going down to make way for the moon. It's the moment in between midday and midnight, also known as dusk. What's more significant here is not the sun or the moon itself, but how their relationship to each other creates tides. Notice how the two islands, Mele Mele and Akala, are the closest to the sun and are the only islands that have sandbanks. So these islands are being affected by the outgoing tide due to dusk, which means that the other two islands, Pony and Ula Ula, are not affected because the tide hasn't gone out yet. That explains why they have no sandbanks on the map, but they'll probably have them when it turns dusk there. Where have I seen tides before? Oh yeah, Mastiff City in the Hoenn region. But this time it's not just going to be one island, but all four of them. I also see Pokemon migrating just as dusk breaks. It looks like some Waylord and Pelipper. So we have tides creating sandbanks and making Pokemon migrate. Let's take a look at the changes on Mele Mele Island. There are two sandbanks, one in the northwest and one in the northeast. The mall area next to Haoli City got a redesign and the empty space finally has a building on it. It also looks like the area around the dock turned into a sandbag too. Let's look at Akala Island now. It has two sandbanks, one in the northeast and one in the west with a new building. The waterfalls look dried up but it's probably the tide that went out. There's a new building in Hia Hia City where the empty space used to be and the observatory got an upgrade. The Royal Avenue in the east has a new building and Koni Koni City in the south also has a new building. Ula Ula Island gets no new sandbanks in this map but you never know if it will in the game. The empty space in Mali City has a building now but the empty spaces in Tapu Village and on Route 15 stay empty. Mount Lalakila gets a new area just under the clouds. Pony Island has the least changes so far. It loses a rock formation at the south but gets one in the east. And there's an ultra wormhole above the island pulling the whole island under a shadow. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like to support my channel. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section. That's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. I'm out.